Welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another video on the Laser Channel. Today's fun follow along project, I'll be demonstrating step-by-step -step how to create this project. And along the way, I'll be showing you the tools that I'm using so that you can adapt this project to make it your very own. Let's get started by covering some of the basic materials and the machine that I'll be using. This is the iCare K1 Pro featuring a powerful 48 watt laser module. This is the version that has a selector switch between the high power of 48 watts and the lower power of 24 watts. The lower power is good for engraving, but in this video, I'm going to be doing all cutting. Speaking of cutting, I'm going to use that powerful laser module to cut through this three quarter inch thick pine board. This is a regular pine board found at most common home improvement stores. The next material is going to be this eighth inch thick black acrylic. This is going to be cast acrylic and it will cut very easily using this laser machine. The last material to join the black acrylic and the wood together to complete the project, I have this Gorilla Glue. Now the drawback to this is that it can leave a smoky white residue if I overdo it with the glue. So I've also got this other option of this Quick Grip by Beacon. This will not leave that white residue and the benefit of both glues are they are both very strong and fast drying. If you're following along and you'd like to adapt this project to the materials and the machine that you have, if you have a lower powered machine that you don't think will make it through three quarter inch pine board, you're welcome to substitute quarter inch plywood or even cardboard. And the same thing can go for acrylic. If you don't have this on hand, but you really want to make this project, you can go ahead and use some poster board, some other cardboard, or colored paper will work perfectly as well. Next up, I'm ready to jump into the computer and I'll show you where I'm going to get the artwork for, for this project. Welcome to the computer portion. This is where I like to find a lot of artwork that I use for my personal projects. It's called pixabay.com and I did a search for a fish. And when I scroll down a little bit, this is the fish that I found. I've downloaded my image from Pixabay for free and I've imported it into Lightburn software. This is still an image file, so the next step is to convert this image over to an object that I can cut out because this project that I'm creating is all about cutting objects out. To do this, I'll make sure that the image is selected and I'll navigate to tools and trace image. And I can scroll wheel in and see that wherever there is a faint purple line, that is the tracing that the software will do. When I scroll wheel out just a little bit, we'll see that there's also this white blotch that was behind the eye and I don't want that. But when I zoom in a little bit, we'll see that it is not selecting it as a part of the trace, which is exactly what I want. I don't want to include that white portion. We'll see that I have selected delete the image after trace because I'll have no use for the image after this and I'll click OK. And here I've got a perfect line tracing of my object that I can either engrave or cut. The next thing that I'd like to do is create an outline of my object and this is going to be the cutout for the board. For this I'll make sure that I have my object selected and I'll go over here to the offset shapes option. And for that I'll just adjust this until I have a nice clean outline all the way around. And if I want more detail, I can reduce the offset amount, or if I want less detail, I can bump that out. Here, I just want a nice flowy outline, and this looks perfect. I've also got selected, I only want to do the outer shapes. I don't want any holes or pockets in the middle of this because I want this wooden cutout to be one solid piece that the acrylic will then be glued to. I'm going to select this offset outline, and I'm going to switch that to a different layer. I'm going to put that on layer 00 for right now. What I've got on my screen so far, of course, is 
the image, and then this outline. The outline, of course, is going to be the cutout for that solid three quarter inch wood. And this middle portion here in red, that is going to be just a line engraving. I don't wanna cut all the way through the wood. And I'm doing this because there's a couple loose pieces, mainly this eye portion here, and I just wanna have a faint line on that wood so I know where to position the acrylic on it when I go to join the two together. The last step that I'll need to do here is I'm going to highlight just the object in the middle and I'm going to go edit and duplicate. Now this function made a copy of course directly over the original. Next I selected the duplicate layer and I'm going to put that on this blue layer right here. And what this third layer is going to do, this is going to be the cutout for that eighth inch black acrylic. So I've got three layers, one for the wood, one to just mark the wood so I know where to place the acrylic, and lastly, the cutout of the acrylic itself. Check this beautiful cutout. We've got the nice engraving detail across the center here that I'll use as reference when I glue the acrylic down. And again, nice clean lines all the way around on this thick three quarter inch pine board. It looks a little bit dark, but actually there's virtually no char off of it, but I'm still going to give it a quick wash with this. LA is totally awesome. It's what I use to clean up any charring from engravings or cutouts. Next up is the acrylic. Before I place it in the work area, I am going to peel back the protective paper film on both the front and the back side of the acrylic. And when setting this into the work area on top of the honeycomb, I'll have some nickels or pennies that I'm going to set this on top of. I want an air gap between the bottom of the acrylic and the top of the honeycomb. This is going to reduce any marks on the bottom side of the acrylic, whether it's from the laser reflecting or any of the smoke coming back up into it. Here's what the acrylic looks like in the work area. I couldn't find any nickels to space up the acrylic with, but I found my favorite red magnets that I use. These stick down to the honeycomb panel that I have, and I've got a piece on each of the four sides to help keep this stable. And I also have a couple extra strips going across the top on the very edge, and that's going to help keep the acrylic in place during the project cutout. Moving into light burn, I'm going to turn off the two layers that were used for the wood cutout, and I'm going to turn this last layer on, and that layer of, of course, is going to be for cutting out the acrylic. While the acrylic is being cut, I'm gonna use this time to spray some polyurethane on the wood cutout. It's now time for my favorite part of the project and that is joining all the pieces together to create the final work. Before I do that though, I just wanna check out how nice the finish of that polyurethane spray looks on this pine board. The acrylic cutout is absolutely perfect and any of that residue that was on the surface during the cutout quickly cleaned up with some denatured alcohol. I put some of that on a cloth, just a nice quick wipe across the top lifts any of that residue right off. The glue that I chose to put this project together is going to be the Beacon Quick Grip. This is a quick setting glue and it only needs about two to three minutes under a clamping force. Speaking of that, I do a test run or a dry run of placing everything together. And I've got this board off to the side that's flat on this surface and that will keep everything nice and tight. 
while the beacon glue dries. To keep the board firmly in place, I'm gonna use actually the air pump from the IKEA K1 machine. Whoa, check this out. This looks absolutely stunning. I got a little carried away at the glue in the beginning, but I think it's going to be all right. And I just love the way the contrast between the wood grain and the black shiny acrylic. This was a pretty fast project to make, due largely to the IKEA K1 machine with the 48 watt laser module. It definitely made quick work of cutting out this three quarter inch uh, solid pine board. I'm so used to saying plywood because I've usually been working with that thinner plywood, but with this machine, I guess I have to get used to saying three quarter inch solid pine. It also did an awesome job cutting out the eighth inch black acrylic. One of the really cool things about this project is you can adapt it and change it and make this project your own, whether you change out the graphic or the materials used. I just love using contrasting materials like the wood and the acrylic to really make the project stand out. Until next time, learn, create, and share.